Hey folks, welcome back to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here downtown Las Vegas on Las Vegas Boulevard, heading northbound on Las Vegas Boulevard, and uh, looks like there's a wedding on this Saturday night, Saturday evening, that uh, caused traffic to back up here at Mon Bel Ami Wedding Chapel. Pizza and Wings right here on the right. And they got a big wedding going on in there. And while we're right here at the Light at Bonneville, I want to tell you our new Vegas Don gear that we have on our shop section of uh, YouTube. We've got these cool t-shirts and uh, other uh, winter wear, warm wear, warm weather, and cold weather wear. Uh, so uh, take a look at them. We have the Vegas Don logo imposed on top of the uh, Las Vegas Strip skyline. And they're all available on there, so uh, hope you'll check those out. Green light here at Bonneville now. We're seeing northbound on Las Vegas Boulevard. Transit Center to our left. Come up to Clark Avenue, named for Clark W. Griswold. No, just kidding. Probably named for Clark County, whoever, whomever Clark County was named after. And forgive me for not knowing. I don't. I don't know. I know why Las Vegas is named Las Vegas. It's because when the first settlers came here, they saw green meadows, and in Spanish, Las Vegas means the meadows. So they named it the meadows in Spanish. Up to the light here at Bridger now. That Benz has no tag on it. Another vehicle that we've seen in our travels today with no license plate. I don't know how these guys are driving around not getting pulled over. It must not be a big money maker for the cops because uh, they don't seem to bother them. Passing over Bridger Avenue, now two blocks south of the Fremont Street Experience. And over here on the left, you've got the D, as well as the Circa peeking out the top back there, too. A little Mazda Miata in front of us. This is the light here at Carson Avenue. Wait for our turn here. And the next light will be the Fremont Street Experience on the left, and it becomes Fremont Street on the right, 30 years ago, 30 some odd years ago, they decided to close off Fremont Street here at Las Vegas Boulevard, put up the canopy overhead, and make a pedestrian walkway. And so that's what they've done here in these concrete canyons of downtown Las Vegas. Heart Attack Grill on the left there, over 350 pounds, eats free. They have a scale out front to verify your weight and then uh, go out there. Have yourself a free, a free meal if you're over 350 pounds. Evil Knievel Pizzeria, very, very good pizza in there. Love that, love that pizza. It's a little bit expensive, but it's really good and they have not paid me to say a word. So all of my recommendations are my own. Come up to 6th Street here, you have Fremont Country Club on the right, as well as, well as Backstage Bar and Billiards. El Cortez there on the left, long time Las Vegas establishment there. Some people doing crazy things on the side there in front of Ike's, whatever Ike's is. This is 7th Street here, and there's the praying mantis that spits fire, but it won't do that until after dark. Here at Container Park, it is dining and shops here in the Fremont East District, as it's titled. The venue over here to our left. then skydiving is not for you, it says on that sign there on the right. Well, I'd be inclined to agree with you there. Neon Saltwater says there on the left. Looks like an old gas station that they've painted all sorts of different colors. Motel. Last night I had a dream that disco music was making a comeback. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Okay. 10th Street. Atomic Liquors right here. That was in the... Uh, First hangover movie, the guys, uh, uh, Mr. Chow crashed into the guys at that inter intersection there. In front of Atomic Liquors. Ferguson's Downtown Motel, North 11th Street. Come across Maryland Parkway now. And another old 
boarded up motel here on the left. And it looks like someone's drawn on the doors to make it look like it's not as bad as it appears. 13th Street, Siegel Suites again. You've seen that chain all over town. There's another one with the uh, drawings all over the place. Siegel Suites on the left here, Fremont 2 it's named. Another 7-Eleven. Shout out to 7-Eleven man. 166 of them all over town here. There's another Siegel Suites. So we wait for the light here at 15th Street. We got the green light here at 15th Street. Proceeding eastbound on Fremont Street here. You've got South Cove Apartments over here on the left. Now hiring starting at 20 an hour. Economy Motel, Milan Bakery, Desert Moon Motel. That right lane, buses are exempt. It's the bump the bus lane. That place looks like it's open. The big empty lot next to it here. Come up to Bruce Street, and there's another 7 Eleven. Sterling Gardens here on the right is that building. Safari Motel on the left. And we go up here to 21st Street, we'll make a left. Fremont Street becomes Boulder Highway on the other side of Charleston and Sahara up there. We're going to go up 21st here. Best muffler shop. The original performance muffler shop. Shopping cart over there. Share Village. See the neighborhood here on 21st Street. This is about 15 blocks east of Fremont Street Experience. they don't show you in uh, brochures or ads or on their websites. Make this left here on the 23rd Street, go northbound. Stewart Avenue now. We're on Stewart Avenue approaching Eastern Avenue. For those of us, for those of you all following along at home, and there is Tire Shop located here. Open 24 hours, it says. Smog and everything else that goes on there. Here at Eastern Avenue and Stewart Avenue. Casa Latina across the street there. Thrift Store. Maria Latin Services, Superior Insurance, all in that little shopping center. Along with the interchange here for US 95 slash Interstate 11 slash Interstate 515 slash US 93, interchange there at Eastern Avenue. See these apartments over here on the right. On the left, rather, we've got a park over here on our right. I was looking at the park when I said that. North 28th Street. That's the Boys and Girls Club building right there. Road work ahead. Where isn't there road work ahead in Las Vegas? Or anywhere in the country for that matter. Looks like a uh, taco stand of some sort right there. Those 
Ubers are becoming more and more common here in town. Stand. I didn't even notice that one on the other side of the street there. They have a taco stand, juice stand, etc. Construction, expect delays, of course. Always expect delays. And then we go up here. And we'll make another left because I want to go into this little neighborhood here. Little development. Looks like they've got like, oh yeah, they've got a barbecue grill out there. Probably really good food too. Make this left here under this development. And uh, show you this. This is a little neighborhood here. Just to the east of Fremont Street, the Fremont Street Experience. Definitely a working class neighborhood here. Dumpsters lining both sides of the street. And again, this abuts, joins right up against the, uh, adjacent to the highway, the interstate. Interstate 11, as it's now being called. Buildings in here have been tagged. The dumpsters themselves have been tagged, it looks like. A lot of glass, broken glass in here. here. I'm going to turn around because there's only one way in and out here. Dumpsters have been tagged there. These buildings. And again, this is right off of 30th Street here in East Las Vegas, which is about 25 blocks east of Fremont Street Experience. We've got that building there, it's been tagged. This is not glitz and glamour when it comes to Las Vegas at all. And they don't show you this. Got some couches sitting out there.
Harlan Avenue. That's what the uh, address is for this place. Marlin and 30th Street. Make the stop here. And head back out here to Stewart. And go left. It's now about Stewart. It's just very dystopian. I know it's, it's expensive to live. Everything has gone up. Some of these... Some of these neighborhoods... There's got to be someone held responsible. Slumlord or something. In my humble opinion. I'm not calling anyone a slumlord. It's just my opinion. Over on the left here you have the Las Vegas City Jail. As you've been told, that is the city jail, not, not a county facility. So if you party too hardy down on Fremont Street, you will end up right here. At this little detention center off the corner of Pecos, Picos, and Stewart Avenue. Last city of Las Vegas, Department of Public Sif Safety. No. There. Wanted to take a moment, remind you of your Vegas Don gear here, on the, uh, available on the shop section of our YouTube channel. So feel free to check those out, it's some awesome gear and merch. Uh, just wanted to remind everyone of that. And we've got a green light here at Picos. Picos. Looks like it's on a timer because of the construction, so each direction gets its own turn. Probably about a 40 second green light. As we continue eastbound now underneath the overpass, the US 95 slash US 93 slash Interstate 11 slash Interstate 515 overpass above us. and Sunrise Mountain peaks there in front of us. Frenchman's Mountain is the one on the right. Sunrise Mountain is the one on the left, I believe. Or is it the other way around? Frenchman's is the one on the left. Sunrise is the one on the right, I believe. I, I can never remember it. <laughs> because I know Sunrise Mountain High School is up there off of Cary and uh, Los Feliz. So I automatically think that that's Sunrise Mountain on the left because that's where the high school is. But then I had someone correct me and tell me but that is Frenchman's Mountain on the left and Sunrise Mountain on the right. So I can never keep it straight. But they're what they're both the names are accurate. It's just a matter of labeling which peak is which. And uh, most of you that fly out from here, headed back to either the Midwest, maybe the Northeast, and uh, Europe, you will fly over those mountains most days when the uh, winds are favorable. Light at Lamb Boulevard. This light is never green this long. As we, oh, okay, now it changes. There's a tire shop over there. Fred's Tavern over there on the left side too. Got some residences lining Stewart Avenue here. day here in Las Vegas. It's just been very, very, very hot. we got 300 days of sunshine here a year, they say. And um, it's nice to have so much sunshine, but it would be nice if it rained once in a while. Kind of miss rainy days living here. Especially rainy nights. Those are the best. Fall asleep to the rain. This guy just pulled it out in front of us here. Wing stop over there, Smith's Grocery Store on the left. And we're gonna go ahead and resume our previous location. 
We want to thank you also very, very much for joining. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. We would not be here without you. Please do like, follow, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you again next time, and always remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey.